All right, let's go ahead and try this again. We have a brand new sign put out front that Rocky is actually pretty proud of because, you know, it advertises a whole bunch about the ranch and it lets you know that we are looking for a ranch hand to hire because apparently you need to actually like click on this sign and not click on, you know, the horse trailer or actually try to call a ranch hand. You gotta do it the old fashioned way and pin up something on the board to let them know, hey, we're hiring. All the top ranchers know the bigger the ranch, the harder it is to run by yourself. Why not hire a ranch hand? A good ranch hand is around from morning, to, uh, from morning to evening and helps out with livestock care, general repairs, and gardening. If asked, they'll even help bring in the harvest. Any productive, well-oiled machine of a ranch is gonna want one. Yes. I thought we could get by without one. I have completely changed my mind. <laughs> like, please, please, where's my ranch hand? Hire a ranch hand. I need one. Just let me go ahead. Just call for ranch hand, please. Where are you? <laughs> oh my gosh. One time gardening. I must have some sort of some terrible, terrible like mod that is overriding it because I thought that was going to work this time. <sighs> Alas, it is not adoption agency, ranch animal exchange. I, no, no. I, I, I almost think that it's hilarious. Like maybe it has something to do, we could just pretend, with the fact that, you know, Rocky happens to be very unpopular. Very unpopular indeed. But no, friends, unfortunately, we can't hire a ranch hand. Dang it, I was absolutely going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so that we could go ahead and get a move on with training up our horse and getting everything else done. But it looks like we're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. So let's go ahead and we're going to direct Hercules to practice his barrels. And uh, while we have our wonderful boy Rocky do that, we're gonna pop over and we're gonna be visiting with the very confident Ashlyn, who just finished another one of those amazing statues that she does, the horse sculptures that typically sell for quite a bit. Just not on Plopsy. No one ever wants her Plopsy stuff, which kind of sucks. Uh, but I really love the idea that because, you know, we have a horse ranch, the horse sculptures are kind of her thing. Also for $33 to go ahead and like rummage around for some scrap wood and turn it into a horse sculpture. Not a bad income on that, especially because Ashlyn is determined, friends. She is determined to figure out this human art of haggling. Because once she realized that she could sell the things that we have in her pockets for like triple the price at least <laughs> at a little yard sale, she never wants to sell any of these crops for normal price again. However, we do need to come over and like take care of all of these right now. So let's see. Uh, so I think somebody needs watered. Do you need watered jalapeno peppers? Oh my gosh. All right, well, let's come oh, evolve. Okay, which corn needs evolved? Oh my gosh. Uh, and we're just going to start harvesting all. Ashlyn, I swear you probably have a ridiculous amount of gardening skill. And in fact, do we have the gardening skill like active? We do have the tend garden on our little club. You know what? If we can't hire a ranch hand, I have no problem bringing Erwin back over. I don't. And I have a rule in my game where once I become best friends or, uh, well, I guess good friends is the solid friendship. I mean, we're almost maxed out. I, I have a rule where I can start controlling that sim by temporarily moving them in for like the afternoon. But I think we'll be okay with Erwin because he, he's good at taking care of Geppetto and I think the little, the little animals. So we're actually going to start a gathering. <laughs> And maybe we'll go ahead and we will spend our club points on the gardening skill soon. I want it to be the horse riding, but I feel like one might lead to the other. Uh, yeah, and there's the gardening. Oh my goodness. All right, well, we're going to do our best. Erwin's probably going to pop over any second now, and hopefully he's going to be doing some neat stuff. Did we tell our horse? Okay, yeah, Hercules is coming on over. Hey, Erwin. There you are. Uh, and then for some reason... Oh my gosh. All right, fine. Um, we have our boy Rocky wants to talk to this guy Tree. So I'm going to see if I can just have him call chat with Tree and maybe fill that want whilst we... Ooh, strawberries are ready to evolve. Yay! Yay! They've been doing really well this summer. Oh, that goat! <laughs> Oh, that startled me. All right, so now we have some nice quality strawberries, which is awesome to see. And Erwin's apparently offending the birds. 
Well, that wasn't my plan, but you know, sometimes things just turn out that way. Meanwhile, it looks like we need to go ahead, maybe weed and take care of a few of these plants, but we've got probably quite a bit of, oh my gosh, like more than 99 corn. This is why like, like Ashlyn, when she realized she could haggle with like the market people, she doesn't want to do, oh, she's becoming a true agriculturalist and now able to weed the plants in the larger area. Excellent. Well, Erwin's currently working on that too. And again, I feel like every time he comes to help us at our ranch, we should give him some little hint of alienness. And I think he might be intrigued by our rocket, but he's probably not going to see it. I'm going to try to hide like where we have the rocket after we build it. Because, <laughs> you know, that's, that's, that's a family business, so to say. All right. Oop. Hello, little ones. All right. Well, Rocky, you're going to go ahead and help out with like taking care of our animals while we... And we'll milk for simoleons today, but we'll gather the wool. Um, let's see. Clean blueberry and then cheerful wool. Then we're going to go ahead and we are going to clean mesaba uh, and share for wool. <laughs> All of this we could be doing. Uh-oh. All right. Well, never mind. <laughs> I need to encourage. All right. Let's come over. Practice basic jumps, Hercules. Oh, no. I don't want to collect it. Ugh. Okay, fine. We'll get those insects while we're at it. But we need to encourage Hercules to do oh, some oh, jumping so that he can continue to train his skill in the background there. Uh, how are his skills coming? <sighs> Temperament, agility, jumping, endurance. It would be so much better if we could ride him, but we're gonna need Ashlyn to be able to have a little bit of time to do that. Ashlyn, you do not need to talk to the plant, my dear. I think, I think we're almost to the point where I can have her go ahead, harvest all strawberries and blueberries, and then I might just send her straight into town. Because, I mean, with Erwin here, it looks like he's taking care of some of the watering and the weeding. Thank goodness. And then, actually, who, where are you trying to go water a plant, Rocky? Over here? Where on earth are you going, Rocky? Oh my, okay, all right. We're Oh, well, you know, I mean, if the stuff in the basement needs tended to, the stuff in the basement needs tended to. <laughs> so, <laughs> I guess we'll go ahead and let you do that. Uh, and then, Geppetto defeated a squirrel in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Excellent. Let's see, ooh, another strawberry ready to go ahead and evolve. It looks like some of these blueberries ready to evolve. No problem with that. Ooh, excellent quality blueberries. Nice. Okay, I think we got everybody there. And let's harvest all here. Hercules, oh, Hercules, you good boy. He has been doing good. He was training for us. I'm so proud of you, Hercules. Okay, so now that we've managed that much, I think I'm going to send just Ashlyn out to go ahead and do a little bit of selling. Ah, uh, but at the same time, if I send her with Rocky, they can go to the competition, but I guess I could actually send Rocky to the competition before then. So let's go ahead. We're going to enter the competition and we're going to Western beginner. We won the show jumping beginner. Why can we not do the intermediate? Oh, it's money. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to need to sell something. <laughs> let's see. Here's the Jezebel butterflies. Uh, and then let's go ahead and we can sell something over here. I wish that we'd have more people willing to like buy the wool and everything that we're gathering. But here we are. Because I mean, we're gathering wool <laughs> for a reason, right? Um, let's actually come over. We can clean blueberry and shear for wool. The wool sells for a surprising, like, steady amount. Oh, yes, and it's another thing of feathers. Good job, Geppetto. Oh, I'm so proud of you. That's going to really help us out. And now, let's see, intermediate endurance. Mm -mm -mm. That is where we have actually managed to snag ourselves a gold before. We would be a little bit ambitious to go for the inter- or, like, yeah, the intermediate show jumping. But, yeah, that's actually kind of ambitious, isn't it? But still, if we placed it all, it makes more money than the others. Uh, same with agility. And then we need to get to the ultimate horse championship, and I'm not sure how we managed to get in on that. Like, must place master division in all competitions to qualify. Oh, boy. All right, well, let's try, um, 
let's try going ahead and we haven't done agility barrel racing yet. Let's try intermediate on Western Pleasure and we'll send Rocky and Hercules out to do that. And then after they leave, we'll have Ashlyn go ahead and wiggle her way away so that we can have her go sell things and try to learn the art, human art of haggling because she's done not having any money and she's done <laughs> having to go ahead and go so slowly on everything because honestly like if the humans are going to be like this let's gossip about chickens and then oh there's a gift from the wild birds we'll go ahead and accept it if the humans are going to be like this, Ashlyn is going to figure out a way to kind of get to the bottom of it. Also, I'm kind of flustered that, you know, I put this whole sign over here to try to make it so that we could hire a ranch hand. And I even added all of these nice little decoration pieces. I put in cactuses. I added in a horseshoe. I put in a little sneaky hint. There is a sign with some alien simlish text right here. Uh, and there is a little Korok uh, flower ready to go right there. And, you know, it's just a little, little hint that if, if the right people know how to look at it, they might be able to see that Ashlyn's up to something. <gasps> she just unlocked the llama corn stitch cross stitch pattern. The pattern will always hold a place in our heart. Aw, thank you, little birds. And also she's sad from Bye Bye Birdies from all the birds reacted badly to one of her questions. That's adorable. Uh, all right. And then what do we have? Is Hercules going to leave soon? You know, for the competition, Hercules. Oh my gosh, is he just is is he gonna just keep going, <laughs> Hercules? No, <laughs> you need to go to the competition. Um, but I'm worried if I interrupt him, he's going to try to like leave. Oh boy, maybe if we leave, th that'll work. Uh, all right, well, yay, we can end the gathering. And uh, I mean, I, what do we have to give Irwin? Like as a, as a like aliens might be real Ooh, sort of thing that's not yet we don't have any selfies i've been meaning to take selfies with ashlyn so she could kind of like give him little hints and sneak peeks of actual aliens um but we'll go ahead and give him a friendly gift and we'll give him hmm, walking stick chili peppers we really oh the green bean beanie <laughs> the green bear beanie <laughs> like unfinished uh i don't think he would appreciate that very much uh the white tiger beanie i mean we have it for sale on plopsy but like no one is ever taking any of our stuff let's give him the cap and scarf in blue there we go and then she's feeling a little grungy oh she's really grungy <laughs> There you go, Erwin. Hopefully that'll hey. help out. And then he's going to leave. But we'll say, yeah, maybe tiny, tiny aliens wear these little, like this little chicken scarf. There, I like that. I like being able to at least offer him something. Uh, also, I mean, I'm going to pull out this transportable shower. And let's go ahead and take a shower. Just a normal one. I really hope that Hercules stops training soon. <laughs> Because I'm not exactly sure what happens if he doesn't stop and go to the competition. But on the plus side, I guess he's working on really getting his jumping up. Yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh, I think he's actually gone up like a level and a half. Oh boy. Oh yes! Starlight Shores Sweetie would like to purchase the White Tiger Beanie on Plopsy. Oh, Ashlyn, people do want your knitting. It's just not very common. 79 simoleons. Aw. Okay, I would, like, we'll take it. <laughs> okay, there we go. Drag that back into there. And then, um, can I just like mail this really quickly? Oh, uh, well, I guess I'll put it in her inventory since he can't take it right now. And then ship on Plopsy. There, and then we're out of here. Hercules is still training. I mean, oh, I didn't realize when she gets sales on Plopsy, she gets a cute little inspired moodlet. That's adorable. Um, you know, I mean, maybe he stopped now. <laughs> no, okay, <laughs> that's fine. He really likes jumping. I didn't know that, but we're just gonna roll with that and say he really likes jumping. And poor, poor Rocky has just been kind of trapped at his spot for ages. But all right, we're gonna come over to the local grocery store. All by our lonesome.
because Ashlyn's ready to take this seriously. She wants to become a mansion baron. She wants to become fabulously wealthy because that's what, you know, that's the game of being on Earth, right? I'm sure that's what aliens think since it seems that humans make it into a game instead of sharing resources. Uh, so, good luck, Rocky. I hope that Hercules finally joined him. Uh, so let's hire a vendor for both of these places. And then I like the idea that we're going to be coming to this little grocery store stand at the grocery store because we're selling the local produce, right? There we go. We're gonna be, yeah, there we go. Okay, because we're gonna be selling the local produce and I'm sure that this is going to work and then we'll go inside and we will actually be getting the book on the books on horse training. Like Ashlyn's positive she's gonna be able to make a big difference in getting things done on the ranch because, you know, maybe she can't horse train every day, but come on, haggle. Come on, haggle. We're energized, we're inspired. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, come on, come on. You drive a hard bargain. Tell you what, I'll give you 25% off anything at this table. Yes! Let's sell items for 10% more profit. That may sound really silly, but 10% more profit on over a hundred corn? How do I even... Oh my gosh, you're going to make me do this. You're, you're really going to make me do this. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll be back in a minute. Oh, oh my good gravy. <laughs> All right, after clicking well over a few hundred times, uh, we now have 510 of our produce ready to go. From strawberries to tomatoes to a few soybeans, a bit of sage, a couple pineapple, uh, jalapeno peppers, a lot of corn, blackberries, 4,000 simoleons, you guys. Look at that! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I love the idea that we just mastered the human art of haggling to some degree because we just got a lot more money than we would have if we had not been selling it at like a upsell. And I think that we chose between either buying something. Oh my gosh, I still have more corn. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we chose either to buy something at 25% off or to sell our produce at 10% more. And when we can sell it in bulk like this, is so much better than if I was trying to like upsell each individual piece <laughs> for a lot less. There, oh my goodness. And I guess we might as well go ahead and see what Ooh, she's got for saw. sale real quick. Well, Huzzah! Really We're really making it. Now we have some actual money for once. Uh, and then we'll go ahead, ooh, bonsai buds. Aww. Okay, like now we could actually afford to kind of go a little nuts and buy a few things here, a few things there, and maybe even like gourmet cooking because come on, like Ashlyn loves learning about what the humans like do with their food. Uh, there's that quill fruit. I think we managed to snag one of the quill fruit already and it's waiting at home for us. <laughs> So like there's there's a lot that she could be doing right now. This is exciting for her. Um, I think we'll grab like the one bonsai bud and then I think we kind of have everything else. Not the fire like milk, but I don't know if she'd be interested in that. Um, and then I think, yeah, we already have a lot of these at home ready to go. And we'll go ahead and we'll pick up that gourmet cooking, Make Fancy Food by Martha Brown. An introduction into food garnishing and aesthetics of drastically reducing your portion size. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Yay! Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, I knew holding on to all of that extra produce was going to be worth it. And now we can go ahead, we can come in inside and we can do a little bit more shopping for Rocky's sake before he gets out of the competition so that we can grab him the very much needed horse training books because he will not be able to level up his horse training skill for quite a while because he has been, uh, he's pregnant with the, you know, the, the, the alien baby. <laughs> and we really need him to be able to go ahead and believe that he's actually expecting the alien baby. So we really probably should go ahead and spend a little bit of time with him, making sure that he can kind of come to terms by raising his logic three points with the fact that, yeah, yeah, there, there's there's an alien baby on the way, buddy. Uh, ooh, chocolate cow plant. I would love to grow that, but maybe now is not the time. Coconut, uh, other type of coconut I'll leave alone. 
<laughs> uh, the cow plant berry, I feel like we should go ahead and we should have to like earn that a little bit more legit. Um, there's dill, oh, the dragon fruit. Okay, that is actually apparently one of the best ways to make like any kind of cash in, I think that finally Ashlyn has enough money for it. We've not had enough money for it. Oh, the, the fake meat cubes. Oh, finally. Okay, I'm gonna add a bunch of those. We want to grow a meat wall at some point and other odd weird statements that I've never really said before. Uh, but um, I think for now, Ashlyn will go ahead and just grab that. Don't need the forbidden fruit. Apparently you can do really cool things with garlic if you study the vampire skill, like even like vampire lore, even if you're not a vampire. So I'm going to look into that. Do, 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 do. There's so much here. Gutsberry. Ooh, that one gives you the confidence. Hey, we should definitely grow a couple of those because that sounds like, in fact, I'll go through those because confidence is, uh, being confident is the skill that really helps you to train the horse riding skill a lot faster. So we'll grab that. Uh, huckleberry, I don't know if we have huckleberry, so I'll grab that. There's so much. It's, and like many of our adventures in any of our Let's Plays. It just tends to go around and around and we're not buying the money fruit. That's a little bit too much. There's the muse fruit. Uh, there's big giant mushroom. Ooh. Uh, but we already have the mushroom, uh, mystery mushroom. Okay. I don't know about that mystery mushroom or these nightly mushrooms. What? Grow blue. Okay. Uh, provide a boost of energy. I'm going to go ahead and buy that just because we're not going to be headed over to Henford on Bagley like for a long time since we're still under house arrest. Oranges are my favorite fruit, but I probably need to focus on things. Passion fruit, pears, peppercorn. We already got plantains. Let's see, quill fruit, razzleberry, red currants, uh, red potato, shiitake mushroom, small mushroom. Wow, there's like, are those the small mushrooms that I need for the meat replacement? I'm going to go ahead and grab that just in case. Because I want her to be able to really, now that she's in on the human aspect of going ahead and actually figuring out how to put things in ground and gain back all these abilities. Uh, we're not getting the UFO fruit even though I really wish we could because I feel like that's a little cheatsy too. Let's see, vimberries. I'm pretty sure we already have one but I'm gonna pick up another one just in case. Wild mushroom found in the wild. Okay that's really mysterious. I don't know if that's supposed to be there. Oh my gosh that was a lot. <laughs> All right, now we learned about oversized mushrooms. Holy cannoli! There's a fungus among us. Make buy. Mushroom seeds can be ordered by purchasing oversized crop seeds on a computer. Mushrooms can only be planted in a garden patch, which will... Yeah, you get in build mode. Um, and then you improve with different fertilizers. Mm-hmm. Huh. They can be canned, turned into mushroom conserves, an ingredient used in the preparation of certain recipes. They could also be taken to the fair. <laughs> All right, well, we'll go ahead. And now that we spent a ton of money on that, the thing is, it was an investment, a big investment, but a good investment that I think is going to pay off. Uh, and then let's come over and we're going to purchase a book. We're going to go straight for the skills and we're going to go straight for the horseback riding. So a horse, of course. And also parenting, because like, there, we're going to grab horseback riding two and horseback riding three, because we definitely need that. Um, we don't need the knitting, because I think she wants to learn it like hands on. And we're going to grab the parenting books. And I know that's a lot of money again, but we have to convince Rocky, like Rocky, like even the, here, we'll even get the first We'll grab the parenting and the pregnancy books because I feel like Ashlyn's like, I'm, I gotta really, like, this is pretty serious. I gotta let him know. Uh, let's see, research and debate. We gave him the rock climbing, the rocket science. <laughs> I mean, I guess he, if he wants to learn rocket science with us, he can, but he's probably going to be able to do that, like, hands-on pretty soon here. All right, acting, archaeology, baking, basic mineralogy. Ooh, I think that has to do with that really interesting mining mod that I got that I still haven't managed to get any work done on. Uh, let's see, cheese making by Braz and Lotus. The comedy, which is really something that uh, Rocky wants to work on. Cow plant farming, seasonalizing, learn how to prepare meat cubes for seasonalized uh, seasonalizing cow print hybrids and how to handle them properly when feeding. Oh, that sounds so cool. Oh my gosh. And flower arranging, gardening, gourmet guitar. I think we're good now. Maybe we'll grab herbalism just to be sure. 
Phew. And I feel like I just need to like fall over because we've been trying to get our hands on so many of those things for so long. And now, now we're going to crawl over here with my, my little exhausted self and we're going to put down, oh my gosh, the lot's not big enough. <laughs> we're going to come over here and we're going to shove our way in next to all of the other vendors here at the little grocery store. Uh, whoops. And then, oh, can I not actually run the stock interaction stock table nothing to stock from the table's inventory oh i can't do it here ew brats <laughs> that's why i'm here in the first place <laughs> oh my gosh to try to make more money okay well uh hang on just a second i suppose if that's the way they're going to be um then we'll pop over to duke's hall and just go by ourselves and I think we're almost good here. I think that we've actually gone ahead and managed to at least start making a ton of money. We still, uh, hopefully we'll make more by selling these frogs. And now that we have all of these books, now that we have all of these skills, oh my gosh, it's Courage the Cowardly Dog. <laughs> yes, the Bags family has been added in to Chestnut Ridge uh, as like a little Easter egg. And there he is, he's actually showed up. That's so cute. Uh, all right, let me go ahead and put this somewhere. I, I just need people to come buy my stuff. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to block the way. That's just the way it's going to be. View inventory. And I'm going to see if people will come and buy my extremely expensive frogs. <laughs> That's what I've been hauling around this whole time. So let's stock the table. And then we'll, we're going to go ahead and see if we can get ourselves uh, any potential buyers that aren't horses. <gasps> Silver metal! There we go! All right! So there! That's not bad! That's not bad! So Rocky and uh, Hercules actually placed for silver medals, which is just fine by me. And we're going to go ahead, we're going to start yard sell. So we're going to tend the table, and then we're going to mark up the prices to 200%. We're going to start the yard sale. We're going to go ahead and we're going to bring Rocky here. And then... Rocky, can you bring... Yeah, Rocky and Hercules are here! Woo! <laughs> Have a picnic. He still has to chat with that tree guy and, like, go out on the town for being a pleasure sim. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and have him, like, really hang out with, with Hercules, because Hercules has been very good for us. There you go, buddy. There you go. And then it looks like all of the other horses are, like, eagerly eating this prairie grass, so... There we go. Somebody come by. Somebody come by my little frogs. I wonder if you get more for attention if you actually have higher charisma. Oh. And other questions that might have something to do with tending tables. And we're gonna go ahead and clean hooves. Hey Nessa, I saw in the news that a cat won the lottery. Can you believe something so ridiculous? Oh Nessa. Oh my goodness. All right, so I think we're doing pretty good you guys oh hey we're working on his temperament right now because the temperament with hercules is actually from socializing and from going ahead and taking care of him so built when the sim cares for and socializes with him so we might just go ahead and chat with hercules for a little bit because he's been very good and i'm really proud of him and we can talk about his horse skills like we can talk about his temperament his social life we can compliment him just really work those up and then, yeah, a little hungry. And then if everything goes well and we're able to uh, sell a few of these frogs for quite a bit of cash. Yes, come on, come on. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Come and, come and, no, buy, buy this, please. Sir, I don't want you to chat. I want you to buy my frogs. All right, we'll see if he'll actually like focus if we like stay over here. But all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and now I'm just going to see if Ashlyn can make this happen. She's really hoping. She's really hoping. She's going to figure out this human, like, weirdness one way or another. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Sorry, Ashlyn. I'd buy your frogs. Maybe not for that much, though.